Andrew Williams. Uh, Mr Speaker, I rise on behalf of New Zealand First uh, to support the Hutt City Council Graffiti Removal Bill and I would like to commend the Honourable Trevor Mallard, uh, Mayor Ray Wallace of the Hutt Valley Council and indeed the Hutt Valley Council itself for uh, putting this forward. Uh, uh, graffiti is a subject that's very dear to my heart and having been involved with local government for nine years it was a subject that uh, uh, I was very much involved in both as a former councillor and as the Mayor of North Shore. Uh, we were very proud on the North Shore to be one of the areas of Auckland with the lowest uh, rate of graffiti in the whole of Auckland because we really did uh, aim to knock it on the head. And can I at this stage uh, commend uh, and uh, uh, give uh, thanks to the likes of the Untag Trust and other trusts on the North Shore and indeed in other parts of New Zealand uh, who are involved in graffiti removal. Many of these trusts are supported by local authorities and local councils to remove the graffiti. Our policy at the time was uh, removal of graffiti within 24 hours and it was amazing <coughs> how many of those, uh, some of them volunteers, were out uh, with the support of the council, with the support of some of the paint companies too to provide uh, paint and that sort of thing to paint over graffiti within a very short space of time. Uh, we were also the first council to introduce a database to uh, graph the graffiti and keep a record of it and build up a database of uh, the offenders and by profiling the offenders and the graffiti uh, we could soon work out who were the regular uh, culprits uh, and in so doing uh, when they were finally uh, caught uh, they could be taken to court and, uh, uh, and uh, charged with a series of offences and often we were able to recover uh, um, uh, uh, funds from them uh, to uh, rectify the, the costs uh, to the ratepayers and to the city. Where there is uh, graffiti, it uh, breeds crime, and, and it's, uh, it's no wonder that uh, in cities around the world where you see a lot of graffiti, it, it goes hand in hand with crime. Therefore, there is an incentive to remove graffiti as fast as possible to provide a better environment for the citizens and the residents of any city. People feel threatened and they feel unsafe in an area that has been tagged and you all know uh, when you do go to certain areas that are heavily tagged uh, you feel a little bit more insecure. Uh, we had an experience for instance my wife and I travelling down the rail corridor on, the, uh, on the, one of the trains from Auckland to central uh, uh, North Island and I was appalled by the amount of graffiti on the rail corridor heading out of Auckland and uh, that train was mainly full of foreign tourists uh, we do have a tourist minister, but I don't think he probably has ever taken a train out of Auckland and seen the amount of graffiti. Perhaps, perhaps that's something that our tourist minister, I can't recall who he is, uh, because he doesn't do a great deal in tourism, I don't believe. But uh, it would be something that perhaps, perhaps, the, tourism, perhaps the tourism minister could put, could put his mind to graffiti as well as part of his portfolio uh, to overcome things like the rail corridors uh, in Auckland and Wellington and other places. Mr. Mr. Speaker, um, we do also, I think, need to put this hand in hand with other bylaws, and we, as a council in uh, the North Shore, also brought in bylaws to control the aerosol spray cans and access to the actual um, graffiti sprays. And we uh, required that the DIY stores and other retailers would put them in glass cabinets. And it's amazing if you take away the source of the graffiti materials, the actual spray cans, and make it difficult for them to access it, uh, it actually does also re re reduce that. So I think it's important that around New Zealand uh, we, are, we think a lot more smartly on this matter because it's not just about removing the graffiti, it's also about apprehending the culprits and it's about taking away the source of the graffiti uh, itself. Uh, Mr Speaker, in closing, can I say this is another situation that the national government needs to turn its mind to. It's another cost to local government. We've been hearing for weeks and weeks now the national government coming down on local authorities and saying that the rates are going up and up and up. This is another reminder to this national government that local authorities throughout New Zealand, Mr Speaker, do have to cover a huge amount of, of requirements on behalf of their communities. Graffiti is yet another cost to councils yet another cost to ratepayers. If the councils do not undertake the graffiti removal, this country would not remain with its 100% pure, clean, green image. Therefore, this is another cost to the, to the local councils. And I certainly hope in uh, commending this bill to the House 
that the national government will uh, give cognizance to the fact that once again local government is stepping up to the mark and doing its bit. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, member must call, Mr. Speaker. Maggie Barry. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, 